Thoughts below were inspired by watching this video. Um, the um, so who is the uh, enemy of humanity? It's the Nazi cabal in Antarctica. Obama went there, Kerry went there to take orders from this group. These people have advanced weapons Think UFOs, views. They are an evil, supranational terrorist group. Think Bond villain. They have a religion, Luciferian occult. It's a death cult of sorts. They are eugenicists, racists, probably genetically modified themselves to make themselves better than the rest of humanity but they are not better than us they are just trying to imitate the elohim the gods of the bible who created humanity no matter how much this cult tries it is still human and still subject to human limitation we were created by an et species that may be interdimensional or spiritual. The problem is in Antarctica, in this civilization underneath. It's been described as a fortress city. I don't know if we have any way to defeat them. We may need help from other ET races who are our friends. If there aren't any ETs or NHI with advanced technology who are our friends, then we are in the same position of the Palestinians as the Palestinians in Gaza. Um, well, you know, if there are no other, if there are no ETs, then. We have to deal with these humans, and the, these humans have advanced technology, and it's like... Humanity is in a very difficult predicament. This cult is inhuman. I believe they do genetic experiments on children to improve genes. This is where all the missing children are sent in my opinion, uh, speculation. We are dealing with an evil force that is preying on the regular human. But this is how we started, and it's been happening to us for 1.5 million years, since the Elohim captured some primitive simian creatures on this planet and did genetic modification experiments on them. So, what the cult is doing is nothing new. Humanity is an enslaved species. We have our origins as colonizers of planet Earth. There is an intelligent reptilian species that is native to this planet, the serpent in the Bible. We humans are the colonizers. But they are being used by another alien species that treats us badly, the gods of the Bible. I don't know how humanity can fight back. We need help, external help, and I'm not sure if 
if such a help is forthcoming. I guess I'm speaking from the point of view of a uh, of the colonized. Uh, but it's funny because humans are colonizers of planet Earth, so the reptilians might have something to say about that. But uh, when you come com in comparison to the car to the cult in Antarctica, these um, eugenesis. We are the underdogs, so they have advanced technology, and um, I don't know if we can uh, defeat them. If uh, they have captured the, uh, the minds of people, the, the masses are not aware of their existence or their information warfare is uh, very effective. Um, I'm not sure if we can uh, defeat them or I don't know how, how, how. I, I, I wish they would just leave human. You know what? I want humans to be free from interference by these uh, groups who have these malicious intentions. Uh, humanity is vulnerable because uh, because of the way we are created. We can be uh, psychologically manipulated and psychically manipulated. Like I said, consciousness technology. Maybe there is some kind of a pyramid somewhere that's emitting some kind of a frequency that suppresses our innate psychic uh powers and this makes us vulnerable to be manipulated by other aliens and taken advantage of by these humans this cult uh, the, the, the cult is using human technology to manipulate us like uh, you know the media information warfare but the aliens might use uh, psychic powers to manipulate us. It's that difference between the aliens communicating tele telepathically and humans using language. So uh, the cult is just like worshipping <laughs> the Elohim <laughs> and it's trying to improve its own genes to um, because Humans are just imitating, it's like that monkey see, monkey do, I mean, I do that myself, you know, imitate. It's, it's a human kind of trait, unfortunately. We tend to imitate our masters, those we worship. Um, but humanity is in a very, very difficult place. And uh, I guess all I can do is uh, maybe sit down and maybe I have to start praying. Uh, if this consciousness can have power, if there is communication using consciousness, maybe our thoughts can have, our thoughts can vibrate on a certain frequency and, and positivity can travel through the ether and affect other people and maybe prayer does have power because the the mind the thoughts uh, they travel like wireless communication telepathically because maybe i think we do have some of that and maybe that uh, our capacity to do Telepathic communication is being suppressed by some technology, and maybe we still have it. But it's being suppressed, or it's being genetically modified. I don't know. Or maybe it's been intentionally suppressed by other humans to keep us from fighting back. Maybe prayer. Uh, I used I used to, people used to say, "Oh, prayer doesn't work. It only makes you feel good, but it doesn't actually work." Well, maybe prayer does work. Maybe it, can, maybe it can actually work. Maybe it's not just about a feeling good about yourself, but maybe it can, it can actually affect the world you live in because you have thoughts. 
and the thoughts are operating on this consciousness frequency and like wireless communication it's the other humans who have receivers consciousness their brains are receivers or something and then they can receive the information through the I don't know, that's just one thing you can do, but, um, yeah, humanity, uh, I don't know, it's a difficult place, um, I guess we can only stay positive and try and do positive things, 